Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about dating. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of dating is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18. It says, Don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers, for what fellowship do righteousness and iniquity have? Or what fellowship does light have with darkness? What agreement does Christ have with Belial? Or what portion does a believer have with an unbeliever? What agreement does a temple of God have with idols? For you are a temple of the living God. Even as God said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among them, and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing. I will receive you. I will be to you a father. You will be to me sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of dating is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 through 20. It says, flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. It reads, Yahweh God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Passage number 4. This is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 through 8. The scripture says, For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in sanctification and honor, not in the passion of lust, even as the Gentiles who don't know God, that no one should take advantage of and wrong a brother or sister in this matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as also we forewarned you and testified. For God called us not for uncleanness, but in sanctification. Therefore he who rejects this doesn't reject man, but God, who has also given his Holy Spirit to you. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 through 32. The Bible says, You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery, but I tell you that everyone who gazes at a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out and throw it away from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members should perish than for your whole body to be cast into Gehenna. If your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off, and throw it away from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members should perish, than for your whole body to be cast into Gehenna. It was also said, Whoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorce, but I tell you that whoever puts away his wife, except for the cause of sexual immorality, makes her an adulteress, and whoever marries her when she is put away commits adultery. Congratulations! You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of dating, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on dating. Passage number 6 is from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 7 through 9. It says, Yet I wish that all men were like me. However, each man has his own gift from God, one of this kind, and another of that kind. But I say to the unmarried and to widows, it is good for them if they remain even as I am. But if they don't have self-control, let them marry. For it's better to marry than to burn with passion. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Genesis chapter 2, verses 23 through 24. The Bible says, The man said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She will be called, woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man will leave his father and his mother, and will join with his wife, and they will be one flesh. Passage number 8. 
The eighth verse on the subject of dating is from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. It reads, Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the bed be undefiled, but God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterers. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. The passage states, Now concerning the things about which you wrote to me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. But, because of sexual immoralities, let each man have his own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. Let the husband give his wife the affection owed her, and likewise also the wife her husband. The wife doesn't have authority over her own body, but the husband does. Likewise also the husband doesn't have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Don't deprive one another, unless it is by consent for a season, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and may be together again, that Satan doesn't tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of dating is from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. It says, Flee from youthful lusts, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of dating. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to dating, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.